Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. It's the first of the week. Today is Halloween. And I want to talk to you about joy. You know, I heard an interesting talk this weekend on the radio, actually, by Ed Phil Yoon of the Church of Religious Science right here in Northern California in Santa Rosa. And I wanted to share some of the thoughts I got from that because I'm going to give him credit for it because it's something we all talk about, but I thought he had some good points. First of all, on the internet, if you Google joy, there are absolutely countless websites that tell us how to look at joy in our life and how to find it. I even gave you a hint here the other day on one of the tune-ups to just force a smile and that's going to create endorphins. It's literally going to backward engineer your happiness and it's going to cause your brain to push the endorphins through there that make you feel happy and it takes about 10-15 minutes is all. One of the things we have to realize, joy, happiness, whatever that is to each one of you, is a healing factor in our life. I find during the day and during the week and for the last 30 years one of the biggest problems people have when they come and talk to me is they're not having enough joy in their life there's nothing to look forward to one of my good friends on the phone just this morning said wow open your eyes and just look around everything you see is literally a miracle and that is the truth if you look at the beautiful land we live in the country we live in this earth we live in if you can't get joy just looking at the scenery you're really looking at something the wrong way. Today, it's Halloween. Today is really kind of a day of joy. It's a day to have fun. But deep down inside, as we start this week, I want you to realize one of the factors I find most people do is take themselves way too seriously. And I want you to laugh. I want you to look at yourself, your own life, and some of the ironic things that happen, some of the stuff you get yourself into, and smile about it. That's about being a human being. You know, there is no perfection in the world. None of us are perfect. In fact, we're perfectly imperfect. Take a look around you and look at your own life and look at some of the amazing things you've accomplished in your life. No matter how minuscule it may seem to you compared to other people, quit comparing yourself to other people. You're on your own path. And each one of our paths is exclusive to us. No matter what's going on in your life right now, no matter how tragic it may seem or how joyful it may seem, accept it. Just let it be. And understand that it is what it is. And that's just not a clever saying or whatever. It is what it is. Allow it to just be what it is today. And stay in this moment and really look around you at the joy in life. The joy in your children, the joy in your pets. Look at the amazing animals that are on this earth crawling around, some of them that are absolutely fascinating. These lovable creatures we live in and the earthlings that share fur and little fangs around us every day, that's great joy in that. Look at the fascination of life itself. Get out of the work. Get out of doing the taxes. Get out of worrying about what's on the news today. And decide you're going to face this week and start looking for joy every day in your life, no matter what it is. Each one of us have it. We can find it. And if we choose not to, that is a choice. I heard Edward say, he says, one day I woke up grumpy and I didn't want to be around anybody who was in a good mood because I didn't want to make myself wrong. I wanted to be right because he knew deep down inside that it was wrong to be unjoyous. If you ever woke up in a bad moon and somehow you just wanted to stay there, well, that is a choice. Admit that, let it be, and move on. Not make an excuse that life's not good. It's your choice to look at it that way. So as we start this week, happy Halloween, have fun, be safe. But above all, this week, I want you to look for the joy in your life. And if you can't find it, Take off your blinders. It's right in front of you. In fact, if you're breathing, that's enough to be joyous about right there. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day. I'm looking forward to cruising with you. So we got a couple of them left. Let's get rolling. All righty. Bye-bye.